So, hello guys, and welcome to this new video. Today, I'm going to present you some expanders. Um, so, let's first do a bit of history. This is a uh, typical horizontal lateral expander. Uh, that's the way I call them. Um, so, yeah, basically, you have your engine right here, and you, if you want to push something big, therefore, you will have an expansion going on from your engine laterally, so perpendicular to the direction of movement. Um, to the machine you actually want to push. So yeah, the expansion here happens perpendicular to the movement, the of movement, I think that's pretty, ob pretty obvious. And actually it's also a bit, um, it's not just horizontal, it's also a bit like that. Uh, a bit, uh, diagonal, but it's quite important that it's in the same plane, basically. Um, because this can, well, be a bit, uh, well, this, there's a difference basically, but there's stuff you can do. Anyway, um, credit where credit is due, this thing was not, well, it was built by me, but this specific one, but it was designed by um, Redstone Jazz. Uh, he, in one of his earlier Slimes and videos, he talked a bit about it. It, it. This is basically like from the fundamentals of bidirectional Slimestone, I would say. Like, there are other ways to do Slimes, to do the bidirectional Slimestone, but this is kind of the Jazz technology, as I call it, and I like that kind of. And this, this, I guess, parad paradigm. Um, yeah, I like, I, that's also what I use for the F1 and that kind of stuff. So let's continue for a bit. So um, say, so basically, expanders. I should probably mention, if you don't work with Samsung, um expanders are a very fundamental part of any machine. Really, you just have to. You have a machine, basically. You want to push it somewhere, you, uh, and yeah, basically, you need pistons on either sides to uh, get the machine pushed, so we say we have a big machine between these two pistons. Um, and yeah, that's why you would basically use expanders to get to that size, first of all. Uh, another thing to use expander with expanders actually do is just push stuff in a different place, which is what this video is going to be mostly about. Um, so yeah, basically over here we have, I guess you could call this, not a lateral, but a horizontal diagonal expander you could say. It doesn't really expand much, like it's at, the end, at the end the size is still the same as at the beginning. Um, but the thing is that it, you can do stuff a bit out of your range with this, you could say. Basically, um, say you only want your engine to go to this line and not beyond, but you still want to do stuff beyond this line, you still want your machines to go beyond there. Then you could use something like this. Um, let's quickly activate this. Oh, this is my design by the way, compared to the last one. Uh, but it doesn't really, it, it, it's not a good design or anything, so yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Since it's strictly horizontal, we're not really using height much, and as a result, it's really not a good design. Um, you can tell, basically, you move two blocks to uh, the right. Every five blocks you move in uh, width, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it, 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 five to two, that's not good. Um, or for two to five, whatever you want to look at it. It does work, though. I can show you like that. As you can tell, it's working fine. Um, but yeah, like, this is not the kind of expander you would want to use probably if you have uh, stuff you want to do behind the border. Uh, also, this seems probably seems a bit arbitrary, but this will be kind of support for dungeon tech actually, because you want to push stuff into your dungeon area, however, you cannot get too close, because, um, well, then you would populate the area. And in other words, you, the only blocks you can build are kind of up to here, and so. Unless you want to use herbs uh, or something like that, or not necessarily herbs, but like some kind of mobile engine reverser, like herbs, um, which would go into that kind of territory to reverse engine. Unless you want to use that, you have to go for static reversers. In other words, you have to build them before the line, uh, before before you reach the line uh, of well, no re of like where you can't pass basically. So with that all, all that in mind. Um, you, well, basically need a better machine, I would say, because this, if you want to go 100 blocks or something this way, you have to go 250 blocks that way. So that's not nice, because you would have to load tons of stuff for that. Uh, so I bring you the parallel horizontal line, uh, horizontal parallel line expander. Yes, indeed. So horizontal, because, well, it's horizontal design. Bidirectional, of course, as well, but that's, like, uh, you can also have expanders for your interactional stamp soon, of course, but those are just, too simplistic to really talk about them. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, sorry, I was just getting distracted for a bit. But yeah, as you can tell, this thing is stackable. It's not expanding to the side in any way. It's just going straight 
ahead of the right direction the engine is going. And I can show you it actually works. It's quite fairly slow though, because yeah, as you can tell, there's a lot of uh, different components in here. But in the end, your whole thing gets moved and basically can also be pulled back, which of course is the hard part. As would you be your actual stamstone, and in this case, your actual stamstone is quite easy. Um, uh, quite easy to well, work with. Um, so we should stop. Yep. Okay, perfect. In that case, we can continue. And let's just do this and this. And if I quickly go over here. So yeah, as you can tell, it takes some time before the entire machine moves. Um, yeah, over here you would have your machine which would push stuff in or whatever. And uh, basically, you could have stuff happen over there. Well, only ever have been to this journey. And that's quite useful for this attack. Uh, however, the reason I'm making a video about this is, well, I could uh, technically also have put it in the next video, I guess, uh, as a brief side note. However, I think it would be worth it because it would be nice to see if people can come up with better designs. Because this would be kind of be the new Cobra, you could say. Um, a lot of people like the Cobra, but it, like, it's, it's way you could it, I guess, but this, this is ba basically about actual Cobra, if you want to use old school terms. So with all that in mind, um, yeah, there's just... Uh, what do I want to say? With all that in mind, um, you will have to build this thing a couple of times in survival if you want to do dungeon tech. And I would like to minimize the efforts of the player, so um, it would be nice if this if this thing would be cheap to build. Um, because it's quite a massive, quite a long structure. So if each segment could be uh, cheap, that would be nice. Anyway, uh, actually, we'll probably talk about my design a bit more. Um, it's 14 long, so every segment is 14 long. Uh, the footprint is 5 wide and 10 high. Uh, yeah, maybe you can get rid of some blocks with a bit of effort, but I didn't really try to do that, uh, really. Um, in the end, I guess what matters, matters the most is the amount of blocks used. Uh, there are six, com well, you can say there are six, like, layers of expansion for every unit. With layer, I mean, like, basically this is one layer, then this is the next one, the next one, next one, next one, next one, and so on. So yeah, over here, basically you have this spiral going around constantly, and every spiral, every loop is, uh, consists out of six of those layers. So yeah, basically how it just works is, well, you have, uh, this layer right here, and it's here, uh, this component goes to the next layer, uh, from on one side, it goes to the next layer on the other side, then you have two components in between there again, and it basically goes on like that, and then you have two components in between here, and they go like this, and they go back down, back down, back up, back up, back up, side, down, 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 and so on, basically. Uh, of course, you will be able to find the schematic download for this in the description. Anyway, I don't think there's too much more to talk about. I hope someone can find a cheaper design, or, like, I guess significantly cheaper, because it's a bit arbitrary on how you it's a bit hard to, you know, I guess, judge objectively. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, people. I hope you liked the video. Even if you didn't, please leave a rating. Uh, or comment if you want to give some more leverage feedback. And I hope I will see you in another video.